Yep. Hello. Um, hi, my, my name, for anybody who doesn't know, I'm, I'm John Dorman. I'm the divestment officer of the Ireland-Palestine Solidarity Campaign. Um, and I just would like to thank everybody for turning up today. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, we didn't expect this, this response, but obviously it shows that there is a, um, a true depth of feeling. Um, among all people in Ireland about um, CRH's illegal activities in, in the occupied Palestinian territories. Um, we, we're here today to highlight um, CRH's um, involvement uh, in the construction of the illegal separation wall, um, which when complete will be 725 kilometres long, um, and also the um, illegal settlements in the West Bank and in East Jerusalem. Um, CRH purchased 25% of the Israeli company Mashif in 2001 and uh, since that time the population of illegal settlers in the West Bank has grown from 360,000 to just under 500,000. Um, that's a hell of a lot of concrete uh, in building all those homes. They don't build in timber frame in in, uh, in the West Bank, they build in concrete um, and they use a lot of cement in doing that and uh, the Irish company with a 25% stake um, would have two directors on the board of Nesher Cement Enterprises. They are well aware of, um, of where their cement is going and how it's been used um, and they know it is illegal and we are calling on CRH to divest from, from Masher and its subsidiary Nesher Cement Enterprises. Um, and uh, people may be aware of the Russell Tribunal which was held last uh, November in London. And the Russell Tribunal investigated corporate complicity with Israel's violations of international law. It looked at um, the whole settlement industry and CRH is one of the companies that was condemned by the Russell Tribunal and found complicit with Israel's violations of international law and also exposes the company and its shareholders to litigation by the Palestinians for the displacement from their homes um, and, 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 and the infringement on, on everything to do with their, with their uh, economic, social and cultural rights, the right to work, the right to live, the right to go to school, the right to live in peace, um, the right to um, a homeland. So. We are here again today calling on CRH to divest from this company um, and, 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 and save their shareholders from the possibility of massive legal, legal uh, litigation. Okay, um, I'm going to finish up um, and uh, I'd again like to thank everybody for turning up today um, and uh, for the... Um, for our two um, Israeli checkpoint soldiers who are doing a fantastic job over there. Okay, thanks again. And I'll hand over to Mark. Uh, the meeting uh, is uh, going on in the uh, Marine Hotel. And uh, I'd like to do some chanting now so that people over there, if they haven't seen us on their way in, that they possibly might hear us. So it, hopefully we can get it loud enough that it will carry across to the Marine Hotel and the, into the CRH uh, AGM so they know that people are aware uh, of the crimes they are committing. Uh, so hopefully you'll join in and uh, we need to be loud. Apartheid walls are a crime. Israel out of Palestine. Apartheid walls are a crime. Israel out of Palestine. Apartheid walls are a crime. Israel out of Palestine. Apartheid walls are a crime. Israel out of Palestine. Apartheid walls are a crime. Israel out of Palestine. Apartheid